started. In this session we're going to be cupping the top of my the crown. At the moment I have a very bad headache. Uh, pain is sort of resonating throughout the whole of my head. And through past experience whenever the point that we're about to cup, the crown point, the top of the uh, of the scalp is is cupped. This relieves pain throughout the whole of my head uh, a bit a bit higher. That's it. So it's quite normal for the cut not to fit on the head straight away. But with a bit of tugging it eventually gets on. And the strength of the suction is kept under control So we're going to cut the, the scalp now. It's not a particularly sensitive spot, the crown point, so I don't really feel much pain. I have a very bad headache at the moment and you will see as we progress through the cupping session the pain will begin to dissipate So I can feel the tremendous uh, force of the cup, the vacuum, I can feel the pulling power, but other than that I feel okay. I can talk fine, I can interact with uh, our resident cupping expert, um, I'm fully conscious and aware of everything around me. Obviously I, I can't see what's happening on the top of my head so I'm not aware of how much blood is being drawn out but I feel fine other than of course the uh, the blinding headache I have So with the aid of this mirror I can position the mirror in front of myself and I can see the, the blood coming out. Well. But I feel fine. I can see I can clearly see there's quite a lot of blood coming out. and it's bubbling as well but there's no leakage everything is self-contained within the confines of the cup and our resident cupping expert he's keeping up the pressure because uh, during the cupping process the strength of the cup requires 
increasing to keep the suction at a constant level. And also if you don't increase the suction level the cut will come off as well and, and the blood will begin to begin to leak. This is why it's very important to actually go to an acknowledged, well-respected expert, especially when cupping the head, because this is not for the novice. In terms of the duration, uh, I would recommend no more than, say, five minutes on uh, a particular spot on the head, especially this, this point on the crown. So I can already feel the, the pain that I, that I initially felt pre-cupping, I can already feel it decline. And it's quite, um, it's quite an exhilarating feeling, it's a, it's a sense of relief. Because the, the pain that I had, which I've had all week, I had uh, throughout much of my head, around the temple area, um, throughout much of the top of my head. And now it's very much beginning to dissipate away. Because of the reach of of the actual uh, suction, um, the blood itself that's contained within the cup is extracted from from all over the, the the top of the scalp, not just not just the the single spot. Okay, so we're, run, we're coming up to the close of the five minutes. And I feel great. I'd say 80% of the pain that I initially came with has gone completely. There's just small residual amounts of pain scattered around, but the majority of it is completely gone. So, we're now going to place the same cup on the spot again. Normally the third time you place the cup, because the, the previous time much of the blood was extracted, the third time we don't expect to see quite as much blood come out. That's great. Feel like a million dollars.